All right, so you knew it wouldn't be much as far as time uh, going past before I would start projects. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. And I mentioned this uh, to a couple people in comments, but um, we gained roughly, well, you can kind of see a line there. I don't, well, maybe you can't. Um, anyways, we gained quite a bit of distance um, by moving this aluminum structure uh, that's just here to, to divide the utilities from the storage area. Uh, you can see how far back the, the, the countertop goes. I'll call this countertop because Advanced Auto Parts, Heidi used to have this as a countertop in her store. Uh, you can see the hole in the wall where it was screwed to the wall. You know, it doesn't seem like very much, but when you talk about four inches all the way across here, it makes a difference uh, to move this wall from where it was back. Now, there's still plenty of storage down here, but um, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. And I think that they could have maybe, maybe in the fifth wheels, they should start changing the way they put their wet base because this overhung this wall here was out to here it overhung that far there was a big gap and the same with this this wasn't up on the ledge it was it was down it, it hung down so you can see where they had it screwed into the uh you know into the structure here that's what this was so basically i took the screws out um moved the wall and then re-screwed it back up and put it up here and it gives me extra space here even so I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in here. Uh, spaghetti, right? <laughs> Actually, it's it's not that bad. I don't see anything that you know scares me as far as oh man, that's crossed and you got this kinked or anything like that. Um, nothing like that. Uh, the water pump was, and I'll go ahead and show you here. The water pump was back there further, and um, I moved it here to make it a little bit easier. And, it, and it's inside this frame, so you know once we put the the wall back on which is up in the front storage area um, that will take care of it and you can see this this was lifted all this time so they could save themselves a little bit of aluminum over you know all the units that they build if they just cut this a little bit shorter and, and weld you know the corner a little bit back further um, but nonetheless I understand why they do it it makes sense to me and uh, it works this gap here is taken up and covered up by the uh, the false wall now the other thing that I did was again I didn't like the uh, water filter that was mounted there and it had the hoses running all the way across here the one thing I'm not real sure about Heidi and I discussed it a little bit is the uh, drinking water um, filter that's here and the hoses you know that run all this way I don't know if we necessarily need a drinking water filter um, I haven't quite figured that out because we do have so many other filters. You've guys seen our videos. We have uh, that triple filter system and we also have a water softener. Um, and then we have some filters that go out on the, the supply at the park. I don't know if we would need all that. So I might might change that around. I might change that filter around. I, that's, that's something maybe. Because that's potential for me to just throw in a tote and slide it and hit the hit the water filter um, the reason is in my case I've got plenty of filters I mean I'm, I'm good for filters I don't need the uh, filter that was in here so I did remove that and the hoses which uh, allowed for more space the other thing I'm going to do is the plumbing here will allow if I put a smaller elbow and replumb that I can make this black pipe up closer you know up closer to the uh, this heated area I guess you could say this is this is just a, a this is to heat this bay that's all this is that's all this hose is for is to put heat here and to for it to come out this vent here sorry I had my finger in the way guys I'm using the phone so that's all it does is it heats this now it does heat the floor upstairs too uh, to the shower to some extent um, but it, nonetheless that's what it's for but it does hang down off a low you can see here um i mean that's got to be 
five inches worth of height that again i don't want to slide a tote in just throw in a tote and and bust that off and and there's room there's room for it to be taller so that's what i'm going to do uh, of course this is the shower drain right here so you can see it kind of it's just outside the shower that's what they heat also kind of through the floor which is nice um the other thing i'm going to do is uh get rid of this subwoofer and put it inside the rv where it can be heard that is a subwoofer that's right there and i i can kind of hear it i mean it does make a difference if it's on you can hear it a little bit um but it, yeah we're going to move that inside because quite honestly the wires are running from inside anyways to the subwoofer so it's not going to be very hard for me to put this back inside behind the little refrigerator freezer and um, rewire it so i'm showing you guys that have fifth wheels rockwood fifth wheels or, or flagstaff fifth wheels for that matter um, what it looks like in this case on mine this is the uh, one that has that little mini bar the 2899 ks i don't know what the flagstaff model is you know version of that but it, it allows you to, um, you know, get creative here and get a little bit more space, which I definitely wanted. So let's go ahead and show you something else, too, that I did. I forgot. Oh, I, I forgot one more thing. Um, I have a lithium battery coming, and we're going to get rid of these two battery boxes. So that'll be really nice. So the other thing that I did was put this outlet up here it was on the floor and i didn't really care for that I, I put the outlet up on the steps here out of the way and plugged in the hot water tank so that's the other thing that i did and um again the subwoofer's got to come out we'll move that in and i'll show you what that looks like all right so that project's pretty much taken care of uh moving the uh at least moving the subwoofer out of the way and it's like i said it was underneath our bedroom we could kind of hear it i need to get the wiring and, and place it inside but um while i was working here um we had a delivery it's not a light box <laughs> and you can see what it is it's brooklyn bedding so why would we necessarily need a mattress you guys know that we have some sort of memory foam mattress now the thing is is the bed that we have in this fifth wheel which we didn't realize was a, full -size queen. it's a full-size queen um and we weren't 100% happy with the one that we had. It was doing okay, but uh, not great, not great. So Brooklyn Bedding, uh, a couple things. First of all, they're made in the US and it's out of Arizona. That's number one. Number two, guess what? You know how much shipping cost on this? It, it was free. Shipping's free on these things. Just because you don't have a fifth wheel doesn't mean you can't find a mattress with them. They have a custom, factory that they can make any size you need rv specific thickness material softness hardness coolness hotness it doesn't make a difference they can do all of that kind of in the middle of all these projects but i do want to get this thing started so let's move inside with this so here's the queen bedroom of the uh, fifth wheel that we purchased and you can see we have a cover on this we bought this when we got this uh this memory foam mattress it's an organic cotton it's supposed to keep you cool i think we could flip it over and it's a different temperature or something like that i can tell you that it's, it's just not that thick and it it did okay i mean we've lived it slept on it for the last couple years it hasn't really broke down but we're we're needing a little bit more we need something that is a little bit better with the temperature and that's something that Brooklyn Bedding has is this proprietary feature. It's chemically built into their mattresses that actually dissipates the heat away, which is kind of cool. Now, the biggest thing with buying mattresses for your RV is, well, I like it. And most of the time they say, oh, we got 30 day free trial or six. they got 120 days. I'm telling you that is that is awesome. That is three months, three months that you can live on the mattress and use it to decide if that's something you want to stay with or not. I think that if you, you know, of course, decide you do want to go with it, then at that point you're thinking, well, I don't know what's going to happen if it starts failing after three months. You, a 10 year warranty. The, the Brooklyn Bedding has a 10 year warranty. I mean, that's, that's pretty substantial. Of course, we're going to give it some time and we're going to find out if we like it and if it works for us.
if you decide you're going to purchase this, which again, give us some time. Let us try it out. We'll, we'll give you an update on this. Uh, you're going to go to rvmattress.com slash daydream is going to be the link, which is in their description, and use that code daydream. Uh, you'll get 20% off. I mean, 20%. That's, that's pretty substantial. So let us go ahead and get this thing out. Um, something else you may want to do, uh, this is on a side note. Uh, check out the uh, little doodads we have there to cover those outlets. Uh, what they do is they're slim line, they cover the outlets, and they give us an outlet further down, which I'll flip you over here slowly. You can see I have the outlet down there, so we'll sleep at night and we don't have an issue with it, you know, rubbing or touching or anything like that. see much taller than the one that we currently have also much longer this is the top of the mattress the white sides the top we had it upside down Brooklyn bedding there's the label that lets you know you got it the right way and this thing is pretty darn awesome awful big <laughs> we, we we knew we had that little mattress and we knew that it was just that a little mattress but I have a feeling I'm going to be sleeping really good tonight. So we'll uh, let this thing expand, air out. We'll take the plastic off and uh, go from there. So I thought that I was going to stop the video, tell you the truth, but man handling this material is really this is high quality i don't know how to describe it it's it's much different than i anticipated they got these really nice handles here on the side i mean it, it's it is what i remember about the old like uh sterns and foster mattresses back in the day when they were the crazy money the other thing is there's a slight newness smell it's not obnoxious and it's not plasticky. You could just tell that it there's like something new in here. It's actually smells like the the RV when we first got it. It's just a, a new smell. So that's that's really nice, man. I I'm I'm a little bit surprised by the the material. So again, we'll finish it out on another day after we've slept on it a few times, uh, probably a couple weeks, and uh, we'll get back to you with what we think. But uh, other than it being very tall, which we had a tall mattress at home. Our, our bed mattress was really tall. Very tall. Um, we're kind of used to that. Uh, man, is that sweet. Oh, I know something we can try real quick. Try to grab the handle of the underbed storage and see if it'll hold the mattress up. Because this underbed storage on here is really nice. The mattress obviously is heavy. But the, uh, the shocks are pretty. Yeah, yeah. It holds it up. It does just what it's supposed to. Okay, well, back down it goes. Grab it so it don't slam. Awesome.